Hi, this is Jilly Bling of JillyBling.com. How are you today? Um, I have a project I'd love to share with you, and it's using a set that, or a bundle, that I've had for a long time, and I just haven't taken time to do it, to use it. Um, and I keep seeing samples, and I love them. What do you think about this? So, the idea came from Artisan um, Stesha Bloodheart, and this is a project that she made, and I love it. I just love it. But when I looked at it from a distance, the white embossing, I couldn't see it, and it just it looked a little pale to me. Um, when you look at it up close, you can see the white embossing, so it's just fine. Um, so I wanted to make another version of this card, but using um, a darker ink. So this is the one I came up with and a little bit of a different layout, same but different. But today I would like to do this same project. Um, thank you, Stesha. I hope I'm saying her name right, um, for sharing. Um, but I like to do this but using stays on and coloring it in and hopefully it will come out a little bit more bold. Um, it's posted for you and it comes along, the bundle comes with a punch, a hand punch, I think it's postage label punch and I love the words in here but I wanted a few more so I've added on um, happy thoughts many mates and also itty bitty birthdays so this card will work for any occasion and it doesn't have to be birthday or celebrate it could be get well soon or um, probably not sympathy but just about anything else the card would work perfect for that Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm trying something a little bit different that I haven't used in a while, but I used to use all the time. It's a blend, a blender pen, and it comes in a three pack, three pack in a little case, and it's two sided. <laughs> One of my friends, she, look how clean they are. They don't, they they wear very well. One of my friends, she says, yeah, my blender pen was running out, and so I just put the whole thing in a, a pot of water. I dried it off. She goes, it didn't work quite as good. I know that there's a um, a different, I'm trying to see if it says on here, acid-free dual tip brush. I know that there's a product in this chamber that is what releases um, like a clear, not an ink, but a clear fluid that helps things blend. So her putting it in a pot of water, she probably just washed out any little bit of the product that was still in here. But, you know, we all live and learn. So, let's go. So, I love these colors, but this one, I like I like blue flowers. I want to do blue flowers. And these birds, I tried to put a little bit of mango on their tummy to coordinate with the poppy and mango flower. But I'd like to go back to these colors um, that Stesha used. And maybe the same layout. I like the bow there too. Oh, and then the pearls, regular pearls, and then I'll color some pearls with a um, a green, dark granny apple green marker. Okay. Since I'm thinking about that, let me pull that out. So here are the products. Happy birthday. I would stamp that because I have one already done. I'll just take one of these. But you could stamp whatever words you want on here. I'll use that. Um, subtle embossing folder, I think it's my ultimate favorite. That and tasteful textile folder. See the texture on there? It's, it's subtle, just like the subtle embossing folder. But it adds just enough. I really like these two. I use them over and over. As a matter of fact, I just ordered my three. It'll be my third one of each of them. Why do I have so many? Because I keep using them. But this one has subtle on here and I'd like to do that. So I'll put this in which way? There's no wrong. And here it is done on the granny apple green. This will just get layered. I have two pieces, one for the inside. Okay, work from the bottom up. I get carried away. Okay, fold this in half. Okay. 
Okay, and put one of these inside. These get stuck together. And you know this subtle embossing folder, I don't know if there's a right or a wrong. So you could look at it, whichever side you like best, that needs to go on top. When you're laying down your paper, if you hold it in diagonal corners, and then when I lay it on top of the white, I'm going to look at this corner and that corner and how they line up with the white. Looking at the top, the bottom, and see how I could still move it around? Top, bottom. Okay, they're equal. There it is. And magically, it works. Okay, I'm going to put a ribbon. I'm looking at this one. I'm going to put a ribbon around and tie it in a bow. Crinkle white. I keep using this stuff too. A lot, a lot of this stuff. Well, it goes with everything, right? And you know, it seems that I go through a lot of white envelopes. I think 90% of the time I do white. I should try to do more vanilla. Is vanilla just dirty white? No, it's more. It's just a warmer, a warmer color. I think we did a few over the holidays using vanilla. A little bow. Didn't pull it too tight. Once I get it all adjusted, then I'll kind of tighten it up a little bit. That's well, kind of cute off to the side. Okay, I'm going to try to leave this one off to the side. Oh, now it's going straight. I kind of liked it off to the side. Okay, there. Who knew? Stampin' Up Snips. They're on back order right now, but if you have other brands, they're not quite the same. These are pretty good. These are, I think, over two years old, and they're still working like a charm. So I was talking with Barb the other day, and she says, whenever I do my bows or my anything that I tie around, it's a little bit loose like see how this is loose if that ever happens to you I'll show you how to fix it so I know I'm just going to stick this down flat so I'll show you now um, I'm going to naturally I would just put adhesive all the way around but before you do the last one get it right in place kind of pull it see that's my little extra I don't need that much I need it to be tightened up a little bit. Okay, so now it's good on here. And if you have way too much, just cut it and then with a glue dot stick down those two ends on the back and it will be just fine. Okay, so I'm just placing this bow about where this one is because that worked out fine. Happy birthday, that's done. I could get that ready. So on this project, I put just a note, and I kind of angled the sides. My paper's a little bigger. I like the smaller better. So this one, I'm going to have them just straight up and down. This is going to be collage. My friend Kelly, she always had a hard time doing collage. She goes, I just can't do collage. Kelly, you could copy this exactly. These green strips are for... One, two, three pieces. So two of them are postage stamp punch. And when I put pictures of all this on my blog, you could see it up close and then you'll know. Postage stamp punch. Okay, those are done. That's perfect space to do this little special delivery. That's going to be done in embossed white. What do they call that? A, a mail cancellation stamp. So I'm going to do that in Versamark. So when you're stamping with this or any stamp that has a big center, don't push too hard. I have a good, bad example. Good, bad example. Push too hard. You get ink there. Therefore, you get embossing powder. But it doesn't matter too much on this one because we'll be covering it up. But if ever that happens, before you heat set it, just kind of brush off 
the excess powder and it will turn out like this. You can't even tell I did a whoops. Well, since I have that one done, I don't need to do this one. Well, okay, just to stay there, I'll ink it up. Special delivery, didn't push too hard, I hope. A little bit of a white embossing powder. And isn't it funny, the white embossing powder, it looks, to me this looks vanilla. Doesn't look very white, but it turns out white. All, all whitey then. <laughs> no one's here, I had to laugh at my own jokes. Okay, so that came out just fine. And I'm going to heat set it. But because I have these done, I'll heat set that in a minute. Okay, done with that. Punch. Okay, so circle punches. I have three of them for this project. One and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters. My little notes say postage mark. So we'll do that. I guess I should call it cancellation mark. And it leaves a little bit of a border, which is just fine. Okay. Someone would like to use that later. And then these others say punch two and punch one. And that is for these little vellum circles, just to add, add interest. And also, if I had the green postage stamp on the green card front, yes, this has texture, but I think it would be lost in there. And because Stesha did it, I tried it, and I like it. So we're going to do that. So here is vellum, punch two. So if your punch is getting old, oh, and when you're punching for this project, it's okay if you don't get your full circle. See right there how I lost half of it? Because the majority of it is covered under the postage stamp. But as I was saying, if your punch two... If your stamp, if your punch is getting old, it doesn't punch very nice. So that one came out, well, you can't see it. I'll show you. It came out bad. What does bad mean? This is something dark. Bad means, look what it left there on the side. And I can cut that off, but it's going to forever do that. Somebody told me, Take tin foil and punch a whole bunch of times with tin foil, and that will sharpen it. But I'm too lazy. But with this project, it's okay because the postage stamp will cover up the majority of the circle. Um, I say just get a new one. Um, particularly on vellum, if I were um, punching on cardstock, see that one came out beautifully. If I were punching on cardstock, there'd be no problem because it's a little bit thicker. When I tried punching two layers of vellum, it was fine. It's just the thin product that gets kind of all jammed up in that punch. And that's all I know about punches. That's it. Okay, done with vellum for now. This is for postage stamps. So how about, and I want to do it in stays on. I haven't used stays on in forever either. I keep on doing everything with the blends. I love the blends. Um, so stays on took a back seat. It's time stays on comes out. My friend Teresa is always asking me, okay, what's the difference between stays on and memento? They're both black inks. You could use both of them for everyday stamping. That didn't come out very dark. Um, Stays on is more for water based, such as um, watercoloring with an aqua painter, or um, how we're going to be coloring with the blending pen. And Memento is made specially for blends or alcohol markers. So I should write that down. I think I need to re ink my stays on because that's not coming out quite as dark as I'd like it to. So I'm going to write this down. Okay, Teresa. Stays on. Equals water based coloring. Um, 
um, such as Aqua Painter or Blends. Oh, Blender pens, Blender pens or markers or anything you do that involves water. Memento equals blends. And I could put after that alcohol inks, but blends are our only alcohol inks, so I'm just going to leave it at blends. And both of them are good for, um, both are good for every day. And what every day means is stamping a greeting, such as happy birthday, or any words, anything that you don't have to color, they're good for that. I hope that helps. I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so I will punch out these birds. And live. Oh, you know, I probably should do the inside of the card too while I'm thinking about it. Okay, so use that for later. The inside. Here it is. Inside is going to be, thank you Artisan for sharing. Inside is going to be this other flower that is in the set. So there's three postage stamp size images. I'll put this one on the inside using stays on. I really should ink this. If it doesn't work out good right now, I'm going to... That came out okay. But I need to re-ink it. So I'm going to set it off to the side. Re-ink that. Okay, just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. I love the font. I'm going to use Peacock because much of the coloring is done using Peacock. Just want to send some happy thoughts. If we go on here, that's dirty. I have to be careful. Well, take care of it. Touch it once, right? Look at that. Love it. I hope you all have a chamois. Okay, so many of my stamp pads are in traveling boxes, so I'm using a whole lot of blends lately. This is Peacock, Peacock Ink, and I didn't have any my ink pad, so I have a whole bunch of these little uninked spots on hand. I made my own ink pad. <gasps> Pretty. Pretty. Okay. Good, good. So, now it's time for coloring, coloring, and assembling. I colored part of it in advance. So when it comes to coloring with a blend, blender pen, um, as we did with, I think it was the watercolor project we did um, just a week or so ago, I'm going to use reinkers. And I have a window sheet right here. And oh, I got ink on there. Well, do you have a sand eraser? Mine has gold glib gold gilding flakes everywhere on it. If you have a sand eraser, it kind of sands off the top of it, or a nail file, and it gets rid of it. Woohoo! I'm not always successful. So I put little dots on this window sheet right here, and I put them in alphabetical order. And that's because if I were to ask you, what colors do I have here? You'd be, I don't know. So... Poppy and Mango, that was the second thought. So those are off to the side. Then otherwise, 
espresso, granny apple green, pretty peacock, oh the pool party, I don't know that I need the pool party, Oop, this one is almost out, this is seaside spray. So the pool party, when I was doing the first sample, when I was copying Stesha, um, it was hard to see the lines of the white embossing. So I took my aqua painter, dipped it into the pool party, got it really light, and just brushed over the whole top of it. So it created a shadow back behind the white embossing powder. But with that, I was able to know how to color in the lines. Otherwise, I was trying to color in the lines white on white. We know how that goes. Not so good. And then I also put just a little bit of a shadow back behind here. So once again, I could see, where am I coloring? Um, so that's just a hint. Um, Stasha didn't do that, um, but I needed to. So I, we really don't need pool party anymore. Because I think, I think I'm going to do it with uh, stays on. Okay, so probably should make that go away. That's okay. So to do the coloring with a blend blender pen. Oh my gosh, I did it again. What's going on? I'll have to watch the video to see where, where am I. It's probably from picking up the um, re-inkers. So first of all, these are brand new ones, so see how perfectly clean it is. Make sure there's no color in it. And this one I want to do in Peacock and um, Seaside Spray. So I'm going to take Peacock. I'm going to pull the color out just a little bit. If I were to go directly into there, it's so dark. That's almost too dark. So if I pull the color out, I can control what color I'm going to apply to the paper. And I want the center of my flowers to be a darker hue just because with shadows in there and it just the bud just opened up hasn't been exposed to sunlight I'm thinking the center should be darker but you could do whatever whatever you like and whatever looks good and then I want a little bit of okay so when you change from one color to another if they're similar colors, like the Peacock and Seaside Spray, they're somewhat similar. Um, but if you were changing to Poppy, take this and wait till the color is out. And I haven't, if you can, kind of twist the marker to clean off all the sides of it. And then I'm going to go into Seaside Spray. I need more of that. And if you need just a little bit more, not a whole drip more, because you could see a drip will take you quite some time to use up. Just go to the inside or touch right here. I think that might even be too dark. Um, and that way you get just a little bit of ink rather than a whole drip. Maybe do a whole drip. Doesn't matter. Whatever you like. You know what, I think I'm, I think I like, see now that right there, that's how I get ink on me. Crazy, crazy, what do I have over here to clean up? Okay. I think I'm going to do more just the peacock color because the um, seaside spray is looking too blue, almost purple. Well, now it's looking good. Maybe I just need like a layer of a little bit lighter peacock. And the more that you use the blend, the more the color is kind of wearing out of the blend. So it will make it softer. So I'll hold this up here in just a minute and you could see how the center part of the flower is kind of bold. It's like that is peacock. And then going out toward the edge, it's much softer. You know the blends, how they come in light and dark? That's light peacock. And see how I'm picking up just a little color, pulling it out. That way I can control what tone I have going on. Okay. 
So there you can see the dark peacock and then the kind of watered down peacock. So now I'm going to try going back to the seaside spray to fill in the rest of the flower. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, I need a little bit more. See, now I wish I had that on the side of the bottle. See if I didn't clean it up. So these are blend, blending, blending pens. They come in a three pack, which is so nice. A lot of people, they get them and they share them because one pen is good for all colors and it lasts a long time. Okay, and now I'm going to do the stems. And because on the outside of the first card I did when I was copying um, Stesha, she did like brown stems. And I'm going to copy that. So on here, see how there's brown stems right here? Brown stem. I'm going to try that. So I will use espresso and once again I'm going to kind of soften that. If I would go right directly into there and color my stems it probably would look like it's black and I want it to be well, it's looking like it's black. Um, I want it to be more of a brown more like the middle of that swoosh. See I don't know what I did to there because on the outside I'd put a rhinestone there See, now that the um, color is getting lighter, I could see the, the line art from the stamp. Okay, so that is the inside. Now, to color these, Magic of TV. Voila. Oh, no, 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 no. Did it? How did that happen? Is that the magic of TV? Wowee. I should go gamble. Today's my day. It just fell in there and there's no ink on it. <gasps> okay. Um. So when coloring these, you could tell that I started with love and it was heavy with the espresso. And then this is when I decided, oh, I like espresso a little bit lighter but there's no wrong either way you could do it it's just fine okay so we have things colored so I'm gonna put all this out of the way because you know I am like dangerous dangerous a little thing and if I were to pass this to my neighbor what colors are they they're in alphabetical order mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay this is driving me crazy let me see if I can. I'm I'm pretty lucky today. <gasps> Look at that! Almost. Oh. So I did um, the sandy racer before I did um, some. What is it? The new blending brush. Not a good thing. All of the ink goes right to that rough spot. Okay, assembly time. Oh, I think this is my good bad example about the punches. Not good. Okay, so this is gonna go on the inside. The center inside is done. That was easy. Not the, the hard the hard part, the center. It's the outside, it's not hard at all. Look at that. Okay, where is that sample? Here we go. 
I like it just like that. So, dimensionals. I'm going to put three on the back of these. Probably use those all up. And now when it comes time to placing this, you don't want it right over the top, you want it kind of offset a little bit. This one I had it offset down and off to the side, but I want to make sure to put a vellum circle underneath there, because if I were to set this on here, the green postage stamp, that gets lost. But I'm not sure quite yet where the circles are going to go. Little birds. It's going to be offset the same way. Those are going to go here. Circle is just going to go on the small vellum circle. That's going to go about here. Special delivery, special delivery. Have it right side up. And happy birthday is going to go on here. I could put a bit of adhesive. And I'll eventually put a dimensional on the other half. Okay, so where are the circles going to go? The circle, I'm going to have this one up. So I'll put adhesive on here. And this circle, looking at this one, I'll put it, and I'm going to leave this yucky part and the flat part hidden right there. So there's a little adhesive so that that's just going to hold it in place for now. Okay, and the other circle adhesive. I'll really stick these down in a minute. Once again hiding my flat spot and my yucky punch spot. This one, oh, I'll hide it underneath there. Cuz see there's a little bit of the ugh. I'm going to hide it under here. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I will put adhesive all over. And when you're using vellum, if you put adhesive underneath in a spot that will show, the adhesive shows through. I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. So, you can see the adhesive. That looks bad. So I'm purposely going to avoid putting adhesive in this area. But that will be plenty. To, ooh, that's going to... Won't let it lay flat. Yeah, I need to get some new punches. So I'm going to put adhesive under the postage stamp because I know it won't be seen. And this one... right about there. Okay, so now this part, I'm going to put a dimensional here and adhesive underneath the circle. It's coming together, huh? And this one just kind of gets tucked in there just to say, yes, I'm a collage. Okay, so all we have to do now is Granny Apple Green Pearls. So, any pearl, any rhinestone. Oh, should I get rhinestones? No, I'm going to make it too confusing. Um, you could do the same process to rhinestones. Because this is an alcohol ink, you could do that. Um, the tip of the pen, this is a brand new Granny Apple Green. Um, just be really careful with the tip of the pen. Because if you do it like hard and push, the tip of the pen... Let me see... No, I just threw one away. It was frayed, like crazy frayed. That's not good. And I know when they wear out, they get frayed, but it didn't look good. So you want to do it in odd numbers. 
I will do five of them. I'll do three big or three medium size and two little ones, two minis. And if you just keep coloring it and coloring it, yes, the color will get darker, but the alcohol in the blend <clears throat> will dissolve the ink, and we don't want that. We don't want our little pearls falling off. And it dries almost instantly. One, two, three, four, um, five. There it is. What do you think? I love it. And you know, looking at the two of them, when you look at this one close up, I do like this one best. But from afar, I kind of like this one. <sighs> Thank you for tuning in. I will put all products used, everything that's here on my desk, on my blog. Um, and I'll put that post up in just a few days. Um, and if you can, hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Um, have a great day. And until next time, bye.